We're here at Empire today. We're going to go out to a reef site in Breton Sound. We're moving material from the old Bureau's High School that was destroyed during Hurricane Katrina. The concrete was salvaged. Now we're recycling this for environmental use to make fish habitat out in Breton Sound. How did all this come about? This is part of our ongoing reef program. This is the 11th in a series of artificial reefs that CCA Louisiana has spearheaded across the coast of Louisiana from Slidell to Lake Charles. It's a continuing effort that we do in partnership with government, industry, business, and our conservation volunteers. It's a great effort and we continue it and, and have a lot more projects planned. How important is uh, the, the uh, placement of artificial reefs in order to be able to uh, sustain the fish population? We're losing habitat in Louisiana every day due to coastal erosion and subsidence. Not only are we, are we losing our land mass, but we're also losing our oyster reefs and, and natural fish habitat due to saltwater intrusion, salinity increases, and other factors. So to replace this lost habitat, we build these artificial reefs. We build them out of limestone, recycled concrete, and other hard substrates so that the marine organisms can have an attachment point out there to begin the life chain. What kind of response uh, did the fish have to the artificial reefs? The fish respond in several different ways. We're changing the bottom topography so that it's a different current pattern. That causes bait fish to congregate. We're also creating a, a point for attachment for marine plants and vertebrates and animals, which also become part of the, the food chain. And it just starts an ecosystem out there that the fish thrive on. We are the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana. M many people know us as CCA. Uh, and we are an organization that is uh, focused on the conservation of our marine resources, uh, made up mostly of recreational fishermen who uh, are concerned with driving uh, policy through advocacy, building habitat, as we're out here doing today, uh, and outreach to, to spread the good news about conservation on our coast. Our CCA Plaquemines chapter, uh, which is about two years old now, came up with the concept of, of putting a reef out here in Breton Sound, which is a very, very popular uh, area for recreational fishermen to visit. Uh, but, but it's an area that doesn't have a lot, of, uh, a, a lot of relief in the water, not a lot of structure out there, and, and what structure they do have, it's, it's uh, quickly degrading, unfortunately. So this idea of put, building a large artificial reef using recycled material uh, in Breton Sound uh, was born of that Plaquemines chapter, and, and now, uh, you know, about a year and a half later, we're, we're seeing it come to fruition today. What did it take to get this project underway? Well, it's a lot of planning. It's a lot of, uh, obviously, some funding. Uh, but uh, we had to find the material. We had to find a contractor to do it. We had to come up with the funding, uh, which was provided through a number of sources. Uh, first and foremost, our partners uh, at Shell Oil uh, through the CCA Building Conservation Trust uh, have provided a, a, a significant amount of funding for this project and others across the coast. Uh, those funds were al also added to by the Barrier Island Restoration Development Society, BIRDS for short, uh, who also contributed to the, uh, the project. And, and those funds were matched through the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries Artificial Reef Trust Fund. So we've got uh, close to a $500,000 project going in today. Uh, we, we received additional uh, gifts to this project from the Paul Candies family, uh, a private family out of, uh, uh, from one of our chapters just a little west of here, and also the, uh, the, our friends at Bertucci Contractors are doing some in-kind work for us to expand on the project. What's your reaction to all the involvement by all the volunteers and the sponsors? Well, it's awesome. Uh, our, our partnership with volunteers, grassroots efforts, uh, along with uh, 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 not-for-profit organizations like CCA and BIRDS, uh, and then you partner private industry like Shell Oil Company and the Candies, uh, I, all partner together with uh, a government entity like Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. What a great partnership for conservation. It's showing itself here today. As you take a look at the project uh, being constructed, what, what goes through your mind? Uh, just how neat it is that we're able to take uh, a great old structure like Burris High School, which was damaged in Katrina, uh, and see it sort of uh, gain new life as part of an artificial reef. We're building habitat. We are creating habitat for, for fish and for fishermen to enjoy. Uh, and we're, we're making uh, a once great uh, structure in Burris High School part of a newly great structure as, as this reef uh, is built in, in Breton Sound. What type of fish will benefit from this reef? 
all sorts, any that, that live in these waters normally. Certainly uh, recreational anglers would be out there chasing speckled trout and redfish. Uh, and recent history tells us that it does not take long for these reefs to start uh, supporting marine life. Uh, I would imagine we're here in December, so uh, by the spring, summer, we'll be hearing about uh, significant catches of trout and redfish off of this reef. NOAA has been involved in this project with many projects before this on helping learn and uh, develop the techniques that are actually going into the reef construction today as well as assisting in terms of the charting of this resource and also in helping it plan it and permit it as well in terms of the collaboration between the state, CCA and the local parishes that are involved in these kind of projects. Artificial reefs really have been very, very popular for a long time, but good artificial reefs, I think, are really all key into the planning itself. Uh, in this reef, what we're seeing is really the recycling of concrete material local to this area in terms of the demolition of the old Burris High School, which is actually quite historic. And a lot of people really have uh, uh, really uh, been uh, a part of their lives for a long time. And by taking that and then chunking it into 12 to 24 inch concrete pieces and eliminating the rebar out of the material, it's being loaded onto barges, taken out to a designated permitted site that the state, we at NOAA in terms of our charting resources and the local conservation association here with the parish have found to be a very, very good recreational fishing spot. And it's going to be dropped down onto the water bottom, but carefully monitored to at least have a minimum depth that's going to make it safe for fishing across that reef in the future by the recreational sport fishermen of this area. We're out at the reef site here at California Point deploying this concrete from the old Bureau's High School. We're out here inspecting this job and it's just going great. Bertusi Contractors is doing a marvelous job getting this concrete placed down on the bottom here. We're going to have a six foot clearance on top of it so marine traffic doesn't have any problems and we're going to put some mooring buoys around the outside when we finish so everybody can find it, tie up to it and catch some of the great fish that we have out here in Breton Sound. It's one thing to take a look at it from a distance, it's another thing to be right here on the deck. Absolutely, this is a hands-on job here and we're just proud to be part of it. All our members have worked hard for the conservation for CCA and this is the fruits of their labor out here. What goes through your mind as you take a look at the uh, old Bureau's High School debris? This is absolutely the best and fitting place for it. It's, it's given back to the area as habitat. It's living on in the future for, for the next generation to come out here and enjoy it and catch fish. A different kind of school. We'll have schools and fish out here, but nonetheless, it, it'll be a great, great area for fishing. How many pounds of debris do you have? We're going to place 10,000 tons of this concrete rubble out here to make a finished reef about five acres in dimension. So it'll be a big area, a lot of fishermen can utilize it at one time, and we hope it holds a lot of fish. This is a great day for the fishing, for Plaquemines Parish, um, to see this money put to good use after such a devastating event like the BP oil spill, to see some of the money donated to the birds program, partnered with CCA, and, and finally seeing this reef built. And it's got a, a double uh, significance that uh, we're using material from the old Buras High School that was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina. So there's so much emotion and so much uh, history that's going into developing this reef that'll bring uh, joy to a lot of fishermen for years to come. Tell us about the history of the high school and what it means to the people in this area. Well, you know, it was, a, it was devastated that they weren't going to rebuild it at that location. So to see that material used to benefit uh, the love of the life of many people from Plaquemines, or everybody from Plaquemines is fishing, uh, just shows that we got to use that material to benefit uh, generations to come in creating a good area to fish in. I've been fishing down here since 1958 uh, throughout Plaquemines Parish. My uncle was a bar pilot and that's the first time that I remember coming down here. Fishing is incredible. We have a saying here in Plaquemines Parish, you can fish anywhere, but you catch fish in Plaquemines Parish. It's absolutely the truth. In my dealings in tourism, I, I get phone calls on a daily basis from people all over the country. I had one this morning from New York State. And the gentleman said, when, when's the best time to come fishing? And I said, it's not when the best time is, it's what you want to fish for. We have a temperate climate, and we can fish year-round. So it, it, fishing down here is just excellent. 
this is the culmination of a couple of years now of planning by our CCA Plaquemines chapter, uh, a partnership with Shell Oil. Our friends from Shell are with us here today. The Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, the, uh, the CCA Building Conservation Trust, and of course, uh, the Barrier Island uh, Restoration Development Society. You see our wonderful friends from the parish of Plaquemines here today. I'd like to introduce to you the president of Plaquemines Parish, our good friend, Mr. Billy Nungesser. Billy. Thank you. Let me start off by thanking CCA for all the wonderful things y'all do to, uh, to help in, in Plaquemines Parish. And Shell Oil, once again, stepping up to the plate big. You've always been there through all of the disasters here in Plaquemines Parish. And once again, opening up your pocketbook and helping out uh, to make this a uh, uh, reality. Um, this is so important to the fishing in Plaquemines Parish. Uh, as we're here today at this marina, this is the lifeline of Plaquemines Parish. There's our marinas, our fishing, coupled with the oil industry. Uh, that's what we do. So this is a great day for Plaquemines Parish and the oil industry and the fishing industry, working once again as a team to uh, create this great facility. So thank you. Thank you. Billy has been a great friend to CCA for as long as I've been around, certainly as long as he's been chap uh, uh, parish president and probably much longer. Billy, just as a small token of our appreciation, uh, we know you're a CCA member, but uh, didn't know if you had a, a, a need. One. Didn't know if you had a neat hat to wear around. So thank you, Billy. Billy was instrumental when we started the Plaquemines chapter now two years ago. Uh, also with us today, a man that uh, really is the lifeblood of these reefs for us. He is the Habitat Chairman for CCA Louisiana uh, and a National Board Member of CCA. Uh, his name is John Walther and he is the, uh, the true brains of the operation. So John, uh, if you would. This is the 11th in a series of artificial reefs that the CCA volunteers have, have helped spearhead across the coast of Louisiana from Slidell all the way to Lake Charles. And we have plans for many more of these reefs coming up in 2013. This is a culmination of a partnership that we started 12 years ago with our volunteers, with government, and with industry. And the fruits of our labor are coming through once again today with this great project here in Plaquemines Parish. We're providing habitat for our fisheries, giving back to the resources that our members enjoy so much, and this is just a great day for conservation. So we're glad to be here today to witness this installation and looking forward to many more in the future. Thank you. Another instrumental part of our Plaquemines chapter and, uh, and, and the recreational fishing community here in Plaquemines Parish is this beautiful marina, uh, Delta Marina here in Empire. And we're pleased and, and honored to have with us the owner of Delta Marina and uh, a great CCA life member, Mr. Darren Angelo. Darren. Uh, David, thank you. And on behalf of the Delta Marina and all the marinas in the area, I want to thank Shell and everyone else that's here. Um, the Plaquemines Economic Development, the, the Plaquemines CCA chapter for all the work they did in doing this reef. <clears throat> As many know, this is one of the most critical areas for erosion in the state of Louisiana. And it happens right here on both our east and west sides of the river. And uh, this reef right here is a huge, huge benefit for us for tourism as well because now we have a reef that we can market. And I think what you're going to find is come this spring when the fish are showing up on the reef, if you want to see how many boats are out there, uh, it's going to be another big marketing event because that's where the people will be fishing. It gives them a specific area to go fish. Uh, the, the benefit of this reef being over on the east side of the river is we have a huge project going on with the Corps of Engineers on the west side right now to rebuild some barrier islands. And this is the first project in Breton Sound since, man, probably the 70s, uh, where there's new reef structure going out. It's larger reef structure, and I'd like to thank John for working on that. It's not just your typical number 57 aggregate. It's stuff that's going to stand the test of time in weather events. This 12-inch to 18 to 24-inch uh, uh, riprap is really going to hold up well, we feel, in the Breton Sound area. And the amount of structure that does for the fish is just phenomenal. So thanks again on behalf of the Delta Marina and the other marinas uh, in the area. I wanted to point out, uh, as Darren was talking, a very unique and interesting part of this particular project, first time we've ever done something exactly like that, like this, is that 
this material that we're using uh, is actually material from the damaged, Katrina damaged, uh, Burris High School. Uh, all of our friends from Plaquemines certainly know Burris High School is an iconic old uh, uh, school here in, uh, in, in Burris. And uh, many thousands of people over, over the life of that school made their way through Burris. So to see the high school live on uh, after being damaged and not reopened, but see it now live on as part of an artificial reef, part of our coastal habitat, uh, a place where fishermen and fish will uh, will call home uh, is certainly a, a, a very cool aspect of this. And uh, we haven't talked about this formally, but uh, quietly in our CCA circles, we would like, if the parish is okay with it, to call this the Burris High School Reef. And if it's okay with you, Absolutely. Billy, and okay with the parish, that, that really is our intention here. So from here on out, uh, and the buoys will be marked as such, we will refer to this uh, as the Burris High School Reef. Uh, it will be marked as such in future mapping done by NOAA, uh, and people will come to know it as the Burris High School Reef, maybe the High School Reef for short. So next time you pull up at the marina this summer and you say, where are the fish biting? Don't be surprised if somebody says, hey, they're on the high school reef, and uh, we'll know what that means. So uh, I also want to, again, point out our good friends from Shell Oil Company. Thank them on behalf of CCA. Uh, these guys have been not only champions here in Louisiana, but across the United States with CCA, uh, building the Building Conservation Trust with us, a very, very generous gift uh, a couple of years ago that continues to build on itself and make projects like this possible. Not with us today, but certainly here with us in spirit are our friends from the Barrier Island Restoration Development Society, BIRDS, uh, who was, it was formed uh, four or five years ago after Katrina as a result of some donations that came into the parish. Uh, and this is one way that we're going to spend that do those dollars along with the parish and BIRDS to, to see this habitat being rebuilt. One other, uh, a couple of other thanks that we need to to say here, uh, our friends from Bertucci Contractors who uh, have given a lot of in-kind services to this, which allows us to uh, spend the money that we're spending, but then also expand on the size of the reef because of the, the savings that we realize through using Bertucci. Uh, one final thank you I'd like to give is to our friends, the Paul Candies family, uh, the Otto Candies uh, company, the Paul Candies family, uh, not only support of this particular project, but all of our reef projects across the coast. So thank you to the Candies family for their continued generosity. The department, Secretary Robert Barham, Governor Jindal, uh, Randy Pausina, Assistant Secretary of Fisheries, obviously, and Doug Peters with the Artificial Reef Trust, uh, Artificial Reef Program, uh, are instrumental in this and great partners in conservation with CCA. So uh, thank you to them. Also need to say thank you to the Port terminal district, I think I'm saying that right, uh, for making their boats uh, available to us today for the ride out to the reefs. NOAA is a wonderful partner of CCA's and uh, can't forget about our friends from NOAA who, who are partner with us on all the reefs we build. So thank you to them as well. It's the Coastal Conservation Organiz Association. It's a national organization and we're the Louisiana chapter of that organization. We have about 30,000 members in Louisiana. There are about 100,000 members nationwide, and we're all on the same page with supporting our resources, preserving our marine resources for future generations. I think it's important to know that as recreational fishermen that uh, it's it's important that we all give back. This is an incredible resource we have here in Louisiana across the Gulf Coast, uh, but we can't just take. We've got to give back at some level, and CCA is, is the voice of those fishermen who want to support our coast and give back to the resource that's been so good to us uh, throughout our lifetimes, uh, and, and it's equally important and more so that we give back now so that generations to come have this great fishery and resource to enjoy. If people have questions like more information, what should they do? Uh, they can just call us at CCA at 225-952-9200. Of course, you can go to our website at uh, ccalouisiana.com or join cca.org, get all the information you need.